About two-thirds of Nepal's 30 million people are small farmers who rely on rain to irrigate their crops, which has become more erratic from climate change. Even though the country is one of the poorest in the world, Nepal has good markets for vegetables, essential oils, coffee, tea, and many crops. Small farmers have problems taking advantage of these opportunities because of the high cost for businesses and government to communicate with many small farmers. For the past decade, Montview Church in Denver, Colorado, and IDE, also based in Denver, have partnered on projects that have benefited thousands of poor Nepali families. Small farmers have seen their annual income double and triple. Women and girls are no longer up before dawn to haul water. Thousands of families are on their feet again thanks to the help after the 2015 earthquake. And volunteers from Montview have spent hours editing reports and fact sheets for IDE donors. This video is our way of saying thank you, Montview Church, and to highlight the ways our successful partnership has benefited the people of Nepal. In 2009, Montview Church and IDE Nepal developed a way to help small subsistence farmers earn more income. Christened the Asha Project, the program was the brainchild of Montview member Jim Hecht and IDE's country director, Luke Colavito. The $200,000 project was funded by Montview Church and a sizable donation from Jim and Amy Hecht. Under the Asha project, village commercial pockets around collection centers were developed serving hundreds of small farmers. The centers gave farmers access to markets for their vegetables and recommendations in crop calendars. Farmers purchased agricultural inputs and received training from local service providers trained by Asha. The local service providers reached 11,000 small farmers in six districts. Asha had an intensive program in Sangja district that enabled 1,500 families to increase their income by $500, a sizable amount in a country where the average income was $480 per year. The five collection centers developed by Asha continue to provide commercial services to farmers and have formed a nonprofit together to help their communities. The ASHA project was the beginning of what could come to be called the Commercial Pocket Approach, or CPA. By funding the starter program, the ASHA project, Montview played an important role in the development of CPA. An independent study by UK Aid affirmed the effectiveness of CPA and recommended expanding the approach. CPA also influences IDE's programming in countries around the world. Montview Church has led annual work trips to Nepal since 2010, working in partnership with IDE. Work trip participants raise funds to support a multiple-use water system, or moose, in a village, then travel to Nepal to help install the system. Moose provide water for domestic use as well as for small plot drip irrigation. Montview Church work trips have installed eight moose, benefiting more than 1,000 people. IDE was first introduced to Montview by Jim Hecht, I think in 2008, and was selected as a capital campaign project and um, funded in 2009 and 10. So one of the things whenever we do our capital campaign projects is we want to be able to have people follow money. And it was really exciting for us to think about having village projects where we could be together with local people um, and, and get to know each other in a, in a rural setting, which is a really special experience for, for us as Westerners, people from Denver. Um, I made my first trip to Nepal in 2009, well, my first trip to visit IDE in 2009, when I met you know, Luke and Bimla and a lot of the, the staff at IDE. And they very graciously, as they have since every year since, um, you know, took us on a tour and explained a little about what we do. There's a lot to learn because they're doing a lot of things. And uh, we visited the pocket area where the Montview's Asha project is, and Asha means hope. So um, in 2010, we came with two groups and did Moose multiple use water system projects, one in the Asha project area and the other north of Pokhara. Um, Sorry, Paka. 
We've returned, I don't remember being how many times, we've returned a number of times and done moose projects in Sirwani, Arupata, Changchangdi, and Naudada. And through fundraising, we've been able to fund any, any number of other moose and, and related, related projects. So, water is really important in Nepal. And I always thought of the monsoon and how there seemed like there was sometimes way too much water in Nepal. But the problem is that in the off season, there is no water. I mean, it's very, very dry and the access to water is often far away from villages. It's been very fun to go back and visit villages where we helped with a multiple use system that both brought both drinking water and, and agriculture water into a village. And when we go back, one of the, well, in one village that's high and remote and had one of the most difficult problems with water, we asked what difference it made and the women said that they got two more hours of sleep a night because they didn't have to carry the water. Obviously the other huge difference is that when people can farm um, crops in the off season, when they have water, they have money and they can build better houses, they can send their children to school. Um, okay. So in Naudada, the last time I was there, I was hearing from the women who were so excited about their savings. And in a country where there's no insurance, things happen and, and people can be absolutely crushed by the loss of a family member or even potentially the, the wedding of a, a child. So for them to have savings is a safety net that they, they, they're, they may never have enjoyed through generations. So women were telling me how many rupees they saved every month and some of them put rupees in two or three different places and you know, had saved, it may not sound like a lot to us, but 100 or 200, maybe even $500. In now Dada Kudakoski, Montview Church provided a moose together with a revolving loan fund to support the marginal Dikarpakare Dalit community that was six kilometers from a water source and faced a debilitating water shortage. The moose has enabled the community to flourish, increasing agricultural income, nutrition, and enabling girls to fully participate in school. Hamre
कृषि बैंक विवास तो नहीं था थे ना मेरा मुल्ले तरकारी खेती लोग आ रहा अपनो बीमा गान पासा मेरे राम लाए तो पानी था वो राम नहीं गौरे मेरा हम लाए एकदम खुशी लासा और जरूर बाटा देरे ही कुरा सीखना पाये था the most recent Montview supported moose in Gatotok Sangja district successfully piloted how the community could repay 50% of construction cost to a revolving loan fund managed by their collection center. This has become standard IDE Nepal practice. <laughs> After the earthquake in 2015, Montview donated more than 14,000 for IDE's earthquake relief program. IDE Nepal provided emergency help to 1,000 families and an agricultural recovery program to 2,000 families near Kathmandu where IDE develops and demonstrates agricultural technologies. IDE is required to provide project reports, fact sheets, conference papers, and many documents to our donors. A group of volunteers organized by John Covert is providing crucial editing support to the IDE Nepal team. Our partnership with Montview has motivated our IDE staff, our partners, and the village communities where we work. Montview Church members and friends of Montview have found the work powerful and meaningful. Not every dollar for Montview is targeted to specific projects. Unrestricted funding has given IDE the ability to engage staff and consultants to develop successful proposals, including for projects coping with the impacts of climate change. Because of these projects, thousands of small farmers are earning more income. More household income means children can go to school, the family's health status improves, and men aren't forced to leave the village in search of work in another country. With an eye on the future, the support and expertise from Montview Church can play a key role in helping us scale the commercial pocket approach. The improvements we see in family income, productivity, nutrition, empowerment, and resilience to climate change are compelling reasons to expand the program. The Montview editing team is on board to help us with ongoing projects and now to help us to apply for funding. The last Montview work trip piloted helping a collection center to use computer spreadsheets, improve office filing, install a weather station, and improve their business plan. We're deeply grateful for Montview Church's support and partnership. With a change in leadership at IDE Nepal and in the Montview Nepal program, new things will come from our remarkable collaboration. <laughs>